Box Contents Main Body 12 Page Full Color Instruction Manual Case Guides Screws and Handles Included Sample Bottle of Tempilic Extension Wheels Case Inserts to Suit 17 Hornet to 50 BMG 110 to 250 Volt Transformer User Manual Detailed Instructions on Setup and Use of the Case Annealer Revolution Transformer 110 to 250 volt power supply, suitable for use, worldwide. Tempilic, temperature indicating paint. 750 degrees Fahrenheit, 399 degrees Celsius. Used to determine the correct speed, to anneal your cases with your machine. Case Guides Small, Medium and Large Use the Case Compatibility Guide in the manual to determine which insert, guide and extension wheel for use with your case. Carry Handles Torch Rod and Torch Holder Case Inserts Short Cases, 10mm, 12mm, 14mm, and 16mm Large Cases, 16mm, 18mm, and 20mm Wheel Extensions One Top Wheel Extension Three Bottom Wheel Extensions, 5mm, 10mm, and 25mm The machine comes 99% assembled. You just need to attach the torch rod and carry handles. Tools needed for assembly. 3mm Allen key. A shifter or 16mm spanner and a Phillips head screwdriver. Attaching the torch rod. Grab the torch rod. Locate it in the hole. Now hand tighten the rod. Lightly tighten with the spanner or shifter, and do not over tighten. Attaching the handles. First remove the screws from the holes. Place the handles in position, and tighten with a Phillips head screwdriver. Repeat the process for the other side. Attaching the burner to the machine. The torch holder has one 13 mm hole and one 10 mm hole. Slide the torch holder over the burner using the 13 mm hole. Slide the torch and holder over the torch rod using the 10 mm hole. Fitting the case insert, case guide, and extension wheels. Plug in the power supply to the machine. Consult the case compatibility chart to determine which case insert, case guide, and extension wheel you need for your case. Tools needed Phillips head screwdriver and 3mm Allen key. Turn the machine on, and rotate the top wheel until the cutout is facing 3 o'clock. Place the case insert into the cutout slot. Using the 3mm Allen key, insert it into the hole at the top of the wheel and tighten snugly. Screw on the wheel extension, if needed with the two supplied screws, with a Phillips head screwdriver. Insert the case guide on the rod. Aligning the burner. Do not turn the machine or flame on. To align the burner, place one piece of brass on the bottom wheel. Adjust the torch holder in and out, up and down until you have pointed it correctly at your brass. Use the alignment chart to help determine this. Tighten the holder to the rod with a spanner. 
Now remove the brass from the machine. Turn your machine on, and set the speed at approximately 70 RPM for large cases and 85 RPM for smaller cases. Now turn your machine off, and turn the flame on. Adjust the flame so it is sitting just behind the case guide. You can do this by either moving the burner in or out, or by using the flame volume control on the torch head. For repeatability you should take note how you set up the flame so you can repeat it each time. Tempilic, and how to use it. Tempilic is used to determine the correct speed to anneal your cases. Apply Tempilic thinly to the outside of your case, from the mouth down to the shoulder with the included applicator. Allow time for the Tempilic to dry. Tempilic is used to determine the correct speed to anneal your cases. Shake the bottle of Tempilic for at least one minute. Grab a clean piece of brass. Lightly apply the Tempilic to the outside of the case, from the mouth down to the shoulder of the case with included applicator. Do not apply too much Tempilic, otherwise it will give a false reading. The case on the right has the correct amount of Tempilic applied. Whereas, the case on the left has too much Tempilic applied. Annealed cases, from left to right. Over annealed. Under annealed. Annealed perfectly. Please do not use color change as an indicator of annealing time. Different brands of brass will display different colors. Using brass that is clean or dirty will display different colors as well. Place one piece of brass in the case hopper. Turn the flame on. Turn the machine on and confirm your set speed with the speed dial. Let the machine complete the cycle and then check your brass. If the case is over annealed, speed up the machine and complete the cycle again using another piece of brass. If the case is under annealed, slow down the machine, and complete the cycle again using another piece of brass. The tempilic on your case should be just turning from the light green color, to a light brown color. Once you have got your case to this stage speed up the machine by 1 or 2 RPM. Once you have determined the best speed for each case, note this speed in your reloading logbook for future use. Annealing 223 Remington Brass Changing annealing inserts. Select the correct insert, case guide and wheel extension for your case, using the chart supplied in the manual. Turn the machine on, rotate the top wheel until the cutout is facing 3 o'clock. Now turn the machine off. Loosen the grub screw in the top wheel with a 3mm Allen key. Swap out the inserts as required with new insert. Lightly tighten the insert in place. Change the wheel extension with Phillips head screwdriver if required. Change the case guide if required. Place a case on the bottom wheel. Realign the burner to suit the new case as detailed previously. Annealing 308 Winchester Brass
changing and kneeling in certs for large cases. Turn the machine on, and rotate the top wheel until the cutout is facing 3 o'clock. Now turn the machine off. Loosen the grub screw in the top wheel with a 3mm Allen key. Remove the insert, case guide and extension wheel. Attach the top and bottom wheel extensions. Insert the appropriate case insert and tighten. Insert the case guide. Place a case on the bottom wheel. Realign the burner to suit the new case. Annealing 338 Lapua Brass. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about the setup or use of your machine, please refer to the user guide provided with your machine. Please don't hesitate to email us at caseanil at hotmail.com.